Good evening. No one was hurt and drinking water is not threatened. But this morning's collapse of a wall is forcing the Binghamton Johnson City Joint Sewage Treatment Plant to put partially treated wastewater into the Susquehanna River. Our Steve Craig reports the wall that failed had been a cause of concern for some time. There's now a gaping hole, 100 feet long, where an 18-inch thick steel reinforced concrete wall had stood for the last six years. Engineering firms who were in on the original job sent people to look for clues as to why, all of a sudden, the wall collapsed, sending several hundred thousand gallons of partially treated sewage into Fuller Hollow Creek and from there the Susquehanna. While no one expected this, the wall had come under recent scrutiny because of internal um, leaks. We've just had a concern for uh, a while, not leakage, not leakage of water out of the walls, but just um, in between the walls. As its name suggests, the plant is owned jointly by Binghamton and Johnson City, with JC the quote-unquote lead agency for the design and construction of 20 concrete cells or tanks where secondary treatment takes place. The hope is the remaining 16 can do a good enough job while the cause of the collapse is found and the wrecked cells rebuilt. In Vestal, Steve Craig, Fox 40 News.